Welcome to our lecture online. Here in this video, we're going to show you what I was talking about in the last video, is that you can go along any one of the outer rows or columns and find the determinant of a three by three matrix. And we can also do it for two by two or four by four or five by five. It works for all these different matrices. So let me illustrate what we mean by that. So instead of taking the top row, we're going to go down the left side right here. We can say that the determinant of the matrix B is equal to, take the first element, 3, times the determinant of the remaining four elements. So we cross out this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, we end up with 4, 0, 3, and 3. Minus, because the signs alternate, we take this element right here, which is 4, times, if we cross out this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, which is 1, 3, 3, and 3. So we take the determinant of that. And then plus three times when we cross out this row and this column, we end up with those four elements. That would be the determinant 1, 4, 3, and 0. Let's go ahead and work that out and see what we get. So this gives us 3 times 12 minus 0 minus 4 times 3 minus 9. That's a minus 6. And here we get plus 3 times 0 minus 12, that's a minus 12, which is equal to 36. Minus 4 times a minus 6 is a plus 24, and 3 times a minus 12 is minus 36, which is 24. All right, now we'll do it again. But now we're going to take the bottom row right here. The determinant of the matrix B is equal to, starting with this element right here, 3 times when we cross out this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, the determinant of 1, 3, 4, and 0. Minus, now we take the second element here, which is also 3 times, we cross out this column, this row, we end up with those four elements, 3, 4, 3, 0. And then plus the third element, 3 times, when we cross out this column, this row, we end up with those four elements, 3, 4, 1, and 4. And amazingly enough, that works as well. Let's try it out and see what we get. This is 3 times 0 minus 12, minus 3 times 0 minus 12, plus 3 times, we get 12 minus 4, which is 8. So this gives us a minus 36, that gives us a plus 36, and a plus 24. The 36 is cancel out, and indeed, we get the same result, 24, which is the determinant of B. Now we're going to take the right column and do it again. The determinant of B is equal to, starting with this element right here, that is positive 3, and when we cross out this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, so we get 4, 4, 3, and 3, minus, because we skip one, so we go from 3 to the odd number here, which is a minus 0, doesn't matter in this case, because it's 0, times, when we cross out this row and this column, we get those four elements, 3, 1, and 3, 3. This is just to illustrate it, because obviously 0 times anything, you're simply going to get 0. Then you get the bottom element, plus 3, times, when you cross out this row and this column, you end up with those four elements, 3, 1, 4, 4. And that should equal 3 times, that's 12 minus 12, which is 0. And that gives us minus 0 times, that's 9 minus 3, which is 6. And plus 3 times 12 minus 4, which is 8. 12 minus 4, which is 8, yes. And what does that give us? Well, it's 0 plus 0 plus 24, which is indeed, again, 24. You can see it doesn't really matter which row you take. Matter of fact, we can even go down the middle. We can go down this middle over here. Every single time, we'll end up with the exact same result, taking the determinant. And that's how it's shown.